I'm in a bit of a situation. Lately, I've been playing around with DV5 and I really love the way it works. It's snappy, the workflow is fantastic, and sometimes I forget, so I'm actually using the alpha version. So anyway, a few days ago, I decided to really go back into getting some work done in uh, web design, freelancing, getting some jobs in, and fortunately, I had a client who wanted a website designed. So quickly, I thought to myself, if I design this website using DV4 and then wait more months to then upgrade it to DV5, maybe that wouldn't work really well because so far, I like the workflow of DV5 and I also like the speed of DV5. So going to DV4 was more like going back into time, or at least that's how I felt. But anyway, I went, I got the brief, and I started putting down uh, the wireframe together and started working on the layout. So when I was finally ready, the layout was approved. But here's the thing. <laughs> when I took the layout now and put it into DV5 and started designing it in DV5, a few things weren't working. And this is where I was like, oh my goodness, now I am in trouble. So there's still a, a few bugs in TV5. The color uh, doesn't work really well. And also the presets, you know, sometimes it's glitchy. It doesn't work really well. So anyway, as I'm uh, designing this website, I realized that there's no way I'll be able to finish this design using TV5. So now I'm in a situation where I'm now stuck. Like, what, what am I going to do now? Do I go back to TV4, of which really... I was not thinking of going to DV4 because of the idea of going back into time. So I decided that I would try Bricks Builder because I have a lifetime license of Bricks Builder. I bought it a few years ago, probably two, three years ago, when they were running the um, lifetime promotion. So I've seen a lot of comments in my comments uh, description where people are saying, oh, I've moved to Bricks Builder, I've started using Bricks and Bricks is better and so on. But that wasn't the case in, uh, in my experience because the moment I opened up Bricks Builder, oh my goodness, everything was just so bland, like bland. I had to even customize something as basic as section padding. You know, can you imagine that? Section padding had to be adjusted. And also the workflow in Bricks Builder is slightly different. There's um, CSS classes that I have to work with, uh, variables as well. So I decided, you know what, maybe if I watch a few tutorials, I'll be able to work out how this builder works. Oh my goodness. And then it turns out that there are other tools like automatic.css, which you have to use to make the customizations even better because it uh, does the... Com the um, customizations for you ahead of time before you start designing and then there's also some um, layouts that you also need to buy so I'm thinking already okay that's going to cost me about $200 uh, before I even start designing the website so anyway where am I going with this so I know I know DV doesn't have uh, a lot of features and all these page builders like uh, Oxygen and uh, Bricks Builder they're a bit more advanced, in my opinion. They're more for the advanced user. Because if you don't know your CSS, you're going to be in trouble. It's not really a visual builder as we get in, say, Divi. But anyway, the way I look at it is, from, for Divi, I felt like I have a license for driving my car. And then Bricks Builder is like going into the cockpits of an aeroplane and they just so many controls. Now, of course, all these controls makes you design fantastic, you know, customized uh, websites, like extremely customized websites. I mean, I think you can go down to the pixel to really dial in exactly what you want. But it's not just that. Of course, they also have other features in uh, that makes it even more powerful and more complete. So as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking to myself, well, if you are going to be a designer, perhaps there's two camps of people. There's uh, the one that is focused on um, like more basic websites 
for like small businesses and Bricks Builder would be more like designing these high-end massive websites which are scalable and also require uh, a lot more tweaking to get the exact layout that you need. So does that make DV irrelevant or less of a builder? Absolutely not, because with Divi, you can design fully fleshed e-commerce websites, um, sales funnels, and so on. So there is a place for, for Divi. So as it stands right now, for me to design this website in bricks, the learning curve is steep. I mean, I really have to watch a lot of tutorials to learn how Bricks Builder works. And I think that the same applies with uh, Oxygen as well, and perhaps maybe even Breakdance. It's not to say they are less of page builders or they're not as good. It's just that they're more complex because they're there to solve a massive problem. I mean, it's for designing uh, huge websites. I don't think if you want to design a basic, um, say, e-commerce website, you would really need um, breakdance for that. Nah, I don't think so. So in my opinion now, having used Divi for a very long time, it is still uh, fantastic to use. And not only that, it is very, very easy to use, especially for the beginner. Like for example, myself, I'm not a uh, programmer or a developer. So using the Visual Builder for me really got me going. I mean, I designed so many websites for small businesses because a lot of them were based on just collecting leads and selling a basic product. And Divi works fantastic for that. So for those of you who think, well, Divi doesn't have any features or Divi is not really a very good page builder, we are comparing oranges to apples here when we bring in Bricks Builder, for example, because I think the target audience is totally different. Yes, you can be a small business, um, or a design agency designing using bricks, but the learning curve is huge. And you have to have a lot of knowledge about CSS, HTML, for you to operate it to its full extent. Otherwise, you're gonna be going in there, dabbling, and you're just gonna make a mess of things. So that was just my uh, look at things, and <laughs> it is really crazy that a page builder could be that complex. It reminds me of, um, a builder that I used many, many, many years ago. I think it was called, um, I'm forgetting the name now. This was before even there was a Divi because this uh, page builder, you could go in and dial every single item on this, uh, on this design. If I think of the name, I will, uh, I will let you know uh, of that builder that I'm talking about. Yeah, but it was really extensive. I mean, you could design pretty much anything. But when it comes to time, you are going to spend more time trying to design something in these page builders like uh, Breakdance or Oxygen because there's just so much customization you need to go in and do. So for those of you who are on the fence thinking, well, Div is not good anymore, trust me. If you're trying to build a website super fast and make it work, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, you know, pretty much sufficient for you. Now, here's the thing. Does that mean that we don't need features to come into a DV? Absolutely not. I would love to see things like CSS Grid, uh, things like Flexbox come into DV, uh, and also a much better way or much better system to really dial in all our colors and our basic um, style guide. I think that's going to be very, very important uh, moving forward with Divi. And also having things like loops and stuff like that, which I think, and, I, and uh, if, if I recall, Nick actually mentioned that he was going to be adding things like uh, Flexbox and so on. So I have faith in Divi that uh, as it grows, it is going to uh, definitely incorporate this and it's going to do it in a way that is uh, easy for us to actually go in and uh, start using because the UI itself is very easy. I think out of uh, all the page builders out there, Divi is the uh, easiest UI system to use and it's very, very beginner friendly. I really love the UI. Anyway, guys, if you haven't purchased Divi yet, go ahead and do so. The link to that is in the video description below. I am working on exciting uh, products and courses as well. So keep an eye on that. 
Uh, I'm redesigning DV5 as well. So next week, hopefully, I should be able to launch a DV5, uh, DV5, DV University. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your support. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.